Iran on Friday showed off new surface-to-air missiles in the new drone that it has named Gaza, apparently in reference to the Hamas war against Israel that resulted in a ceasefire on Friday. Iran's new Gaza drone appears to be a copy of a U.S. Predator or Reaper. It thus builds on the Shad 129 which was introduced in 2012 and is also a copy of a Predator. The Shah can fly for 24 hours according to Iran. This new drone can achieve new heights with 35 hours of flight time, a range of 2,000 kilometers, and can also carry bombs and hundreds of kilograms of payloads like optical equipment. Iran provides these claims mostly to show it can threaten Israel, the range would mean it can fly from Iran to Israel and back, or land in Iraq and Syria. This is a direct threat to Israel. The new air defense system, which may be based on the third corded that Iran used to down a U.S. Global Hawk in 2019, which is itself based on an S-300 made by the Russians, is for lower altitude targets, Iran has stated. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps head Hossein Salami praised the new weapons systems. He said the new radar will aid Iran to search for threats. It completes a comprehensive air defense map for the Islamic Republic. Iran's new air defense missile is called the 9D, some have called it 9-day. Iran is celebrating the war and believes Hamas won. It likely advised the terror group governing the Gaza Strip regarding when to start the war and encouraged it to target Israeli air bases and airports, as well as to test Iron Dome so that Iran could share information with Hezbollah. The drone was named as an eternal honor for those who today in Gaza stand against the Zionists' invasion, and Aggression Guards Commander Major General Hossein Salami said at the unveiling event, quoted by SEPA News. The unveiling came the same day a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas came into force after 11 days of deadly fighting. Rockets fired into Israel from Gaza killed 12 people in the Jewish state, including one child, a teenager and an Israeli soldier, with one Indian and two Thais among those killed. Some 357 people in Israel were wounded. Get the Times of Israel's daily edition by email and never miss our top stories free sign up Israeli airstrikes have killed 243 people, including 66 children since May 10, Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry says. Israel says the majority of those killed were terrorists. Iran does not recognize Israel, and supporting the Palestinian cause has been a pillar of its foreign policy since the country's 1979 revolution. Salami had on Wednesday hailed the birth of a new Palestine fighting with missiles and said Israel was now broken, frustrated and downcast. The Guards Quds Force Commander, Ismail Khani, had earlier this week reaffirmed Tehran's support for Palestinians against Israel in a phone call with Islamist faction officials.
According to SEPA News, Salami also unveiled a new radar system named Quds Jerusalem that can detect stealth aircraft in a 500km radius and be quickly set up and moved. The website showed an upgraded version of an air defense system that in 2019 shot down a United States Global Hawk drone over the Strait of Hormuz after it allegedly violated Iran's airspace. The new version can fire advanced short-range missiles and combat close threats, such as cruise missiles, drones, helicopters and bombs released by aircraft, Salami said. On Thursday, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said a drone downed by the Israel Defense Forces earlier this week was launched by Iran and was armed with explosives. According to the Premier, the drone was made by Iran and launched by Iranian forces toward Israel from either Syria or Iraq. It would be the second time Iran has sent armed UAVs into Israel. In a similar case in 2018, a drone was flown from Syria into northern Israel before it was shot down by an Israeli helicopter. In response, the IDF launched a wave of strikes on Iranian assets in Syria. Netanyahu accused Iran of providing support and technical assistance to terror groups throughout the Middle East, including the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, which receives most of its funding from Tehran, as well as Hamas, which also gets weapons and other help from the Islamic Republic. Thank you.